Shoulder pain and shoulder injuries, chronic shoulder discomfort can be a real problem in people's lives. It can be extremely irritating and restrictive, not allowing us to have the freedom to do the things that we want every day, especially if we're busy with work uh, and we have kids around the house. So we're gonna go through a few exercises, a few Qigong exercises to really target the shoulder and the structures that are connected to and relate to the shoulder. And when I say shoulder, I don't just mean this, which is what most people think about or up here, but we're really gonna think about from almost the center of the chest all the way out to the arm, and then again from the side of the arm all the way back to the center of the back, and really all the way up to, to, to just about this level, underneath, underneath your, your breast um, area. So it's really all of that, and then that is going to be connected to the other side, it's gonna be connected to the waist, and the lower abdomen and legs, okay? So let's get in a comfortable position, I'll give you a second. We're going to take a moment and really pay attention to our breathing. Ultimately, we want natural breathing into the lower abdomen. I'll refer to it as kidney breathing or deep abdominal breathing, but without force. Always looking for the yin within the yang. So the head is going to lift up towards the ceiling or sky. That'd be the yang or the yang then the tailbone and the low back is going to relax and sink down towards the floor. That would be more yin. From the side, I'm not tucking my hips under. We just want to avoid sticking our butt out, which a lot of people do just naturally. So what we want to do is almost like cutting a string and letting that relax a bit. Maintaining the lumbar curve if you can. The weight spreads evenly across both feet. We're gonna start with neck rotations. Simply inhaling, looking over one shoulder. Exhaling back to center. Inhaling, looking over the other shoulder. Exhale back to center. The key here is to get the inhalation Totally synchronized with the movement in getting to the end of the inhalation as I get to the end of the movement and getting to the excellent finishing the exhalation as I get to back to neutral. Everything is working together. Paying attention to the shoulder that's feeling uncomfortable and seeing if there's places that you can release, tension that you can let go of. And we want to feel almost like the entire spine is turning for us and the head is almost passive, almost a, a byproduct of something internally moving. And what this is going to do, the neck is obviously very much tied and connected to the shoulder. And the diaphragm is connected to the shoulder, so this is why the breathing and the movement is very important. We should eventually feel turning happening everywhere, even in the bottoms of the feet. Chin is slightly tucked, the eyes look across the horizon, and you can look down at the end of the, of the turn. One more. Good. From here, we're going to look up and down. So inhale, we're going to look up. Exhale, look down. Again, tying the inhalation with the looking up, the exhalation with the looking down from the side. I'm maintaining an elongated neck. That's my goal. My tailbone sinks, my head lifts away from the body. Versus simply just looking up or looking down. I want to Elongate the spine throughout the exercise. Good. 
Good. We'll let this come to a rest. Again, feeling the weight of the body, looking for the yin within the yang. As the head lifts, the tail sinks. As we inhale, the belly fills. As something sinks through the floor, keeping us nice and rooted and grounded, we feel light and lifted up towards the ceiling or sky. From here, we'll go into some shoulder rolls. So we're going to inhale, shrug the shoulders up and over the top. Exhale as they come down and we lean forward. Looking for big circles, big movements. From the side, my aim is to mobilize the ribs, which sit the upper ribs, the upper thoracic, sit at the top of the torso, connect to the sternum in the front of the body and the spine in the back of the body. This is a nice and coordinated effort. Exhaling, inhaling as the shoulders come forward, up over the top and back down. Again, coordinating the breath with the movement. And then I'll switch from the side again. Inhaling, exhaling. So here, from the neutral position, the shoulder blades come together slightly. We shrug up over the top like we're pouring water out of a pitcher down. Then we erect the body, keep the shoulders dropped and sinking towards the floor until we begin again. Shoulder blades together, up over the top as we exhale. Inhale as we rise up. Okay, hope the sound is okay here. I'm gonna move this over here, keep going. Again, as I come up, I feel something pull in my legs all the way down into my feet and then I let it go, feeling a nice openness in my back. Back to neutral, inhale over the top exhale if you have pain in the front of the shoulder let's say you have frozen shoulder and there's maybe you don't feel anything happening right now because you're not raising your arm you want to investigate explore all of the nooks and crannies of the shoulder and whatever you can feel right now by bringing your awareness into your arm as you're paying attention to all of this other stuff that's going on we promote circulation and the flow of blood and energy through the arm, hopefully bringing nutrients and blood to the area to help things heal up a little bit. I'll let that come to a rest. We're gonna bring the palms up to about the level of the chin, fingers roll back, down the center of the arm, the body, I'm sorry, and then push back out. So we're going to inhale, go from the side, and exhale as we push the arms away. Inhale, and exhale. Now the arms, the hands stay connected together throughout the exercise. The, shoulder, the shoulders remain sinking down towards the hips and the floor. It's a whole body exercise. So I'm going to exaggerate. As I pull back, I feel everything pull back. As I push forward, it's like I'm pushing my whole body forward. While feeling simultaneously the opposition of that. And I'll just exaggerate. As I pull the hands in, I, my body moves forward. As I push the hands out, my body moves back. So we want to feel this global connection here. Inhaling as something comes in, exhaling as we push it out. Constant rotation with the arms and the shoulders. So if this is uncomfortable for you, drop the arms and do it a little bit lower down. You should feel zero pain, zero pain as you're moving through this. Now if you do have frozen shoulder, I would say that's the one exception to the rule because that is something where Unfortunately, you do have to move through some of that st stuckness that's in your shoulder, and that can be uncomfortable. But if we're dealing with arthritis or um, 
a torn labrum or some, a, a torn um, ligament of any kind or uh, a, a broken bone that maybe you had, a broken collarbone, zero pain, which means you don't do it as big as I'm doing it. You do it at your own level and you find a way to move through that space without pain, which means you need to slow things down and see what can you relax? What can I let go of that allows me to move through this space comfortably? Okay, and then we'll switch directions. So we start now with the palms facing the floor. Fingers roll under, up, under the chin and back out and the arms come back and end in facing the floor. So we're gonna inhale and exhale as we push the arms out. Inhaling and exhaling. Shoulders down the whole time. So that means that I'm not doing this to get underneath there. No, I'm dropping. It's almost like I'm getting over something as they come in and under something as I push out. Breathing into the low back and the low belly. Good. A couple more. Constant rotation in the arms, constant connection to your lower waist and your lower belly. You may find you're holding on to tension in your butt or in your thighs. You got to let that go. Identify it, connect with it, and see if you can let it go. Good. We'll let that come to a rest. Okay, we're going to do one more some cleansing breath. So we're going to sink in the legs. We're going to come up, inhale, over the top, exhale, sink back down. So as we inhale, the body rises, the arms extend and rotate out to the sides. Exhale, we settle back down, arms come over like we're a stone sinking in a lake. You'll notice from the side, my back remains rounded. So you should still see both of your arms in your periphery. Again, if you feel pain, you make it smaller. This is what it might look like if you're really in a lot of pain and you need to find a place where you don't experience the discomfort. It may start down here, which is totally cool. And no problem starting down here. Whole body exercise, like a big pumping action. Exhale as we settle down. Inhale as we rise up. Shoulders down as the arms come up. Sinking down towards the ribs. Thinking about the thumb side of the arm, the pinky side of the arm, all the way up through the elbow into the armpit, all the way up the thumb to the elbow, up to the shoulder and chest. Totally connected to the back and the legs. It's like, is the breath and legs pushing up and down, or is it the is it the arms? You don't know what the driving force is, but ultimately we want the engine to be the lower abdomen and the breathing. It's what initiates the movement and drives the force of the movement. Softening the shoulders, looking for the rotation and the movement. We'll end it there, coming back into our neutral position. So we're going to review one more time all the exercises and flow from one to the next. Do your best. You got this. Soften the movements. Relax the body. Breathe. And remain observant and watching yourself. And inhale. Inhaling and exhaling. Up and down. Taking 
for a gentle tug on the front of the body and then a gentle tug down the back of the body as we look down. Excellent. Back into neutral. Start with some shoulder rolls. Up, over, back down. As we exhale, we lean forward like we're picking luggage up off the floor. Inhale as we pick it up. Over the top, back down. Passing through our neutral Wuji position. Inhale and exhale. Mobilizing those ribs in the upper part of your torso, up in your chest and your upper back. Reversing direction, shoulder blades together, shrugging up, over the top and back down. Keeping the shoulders down as you straighten the body. Inhale as they come up, exhale as they come down. Excellent, we're gonna come back to neutral. Bring the palms up, fingers curl forward towards your face, down your center, and push back out. Inhaling and exhaling. Eyes follow the hands. Low back is relaxed, head lifts towards the ceiling. Shoulder blades down, elbow is heavy towards the floor like there are strings with weights on them. The knees are always slightly bent and the weight is spread even across both feet. Softening the body, holding the alignments. Let's reverse, palms face the floor. The hands touch the whole time. Total continuity in the exercise from the side. Feeling everything inside of you contributing to the movement. You're thinking of the front of your shoulders, the back of your shoulders, the sides, the insides, the outsides. It's also working the wrists and the elbows, of course. You may feel some clicks and pops. It's totally normal as long as there's no pain. Excellent. Let that come to a rest. Sink the legs. Start slowly straighten the legs as the arms come up, shoulders down. Exhale. Bend the legs. Sink as the arms come down. Inhaling as we rise up, exhaling as we sink down. Now if the breathing that I mentioned doesn't feel right, then just breathe. We don't want to hold the breath like you're submerged in water, moving against an external resistance. Finishing with one final movement, bringing the hands underneath the belly button, bringing our awareness and our attention to our breath. Holding your attention deep under your hands. And letting that go. This is an awesome little routine. You can do this in as little as three to five minutes. You do this every day. If you put three to five minutes in, one or two times a day, 30 days, your shoulders are gonna feel more open, more stable, more mobile and you're just gonna have more confidence to do the things that you want. Now, if you don't have shoulder pain, this is a wonderful preventative exercise, Qigong exercise, to make sure that we maintain ability throughout the course of our life. If you have any questions, leave a comment um, down below. Message me personally, um, and I hope that you practice this. Give it a try. Don't take my word for it. Let's see if this works for you in your own life, and I will see you in the next lesson.